Y'all ever hear about that Call of Juarez gunslinger? Now there's a story. Set in the Old West, where a man can look farther and see less of anything but land and sky. As for the storyteller, well, that'd be Silas Greaves, a curly wolf with a voice like the creaking of the gallows chain. That bounty hunter sorns on in to the bull's head and the kid recognizes him, offers to buy him a beer in return for a tale or two. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. See, Greaves is the kind of cowboy that those old dime novels sure did love to write about. An old-timer is a man who had a lot of interesting experiences. Some of them true. A lot of people just go around assuming everything they read is right, but old Silas knows otherwise. He tells those folk about the time he spent as a bounty hunter, how any fellow with nerves wouldn't last long in the business he's in. Talks about how he ran with Billy the Kid for a while, maybe even taught him how to shoot some, but ain't no one faster with a pair of six shooters than old Silas. Mind you, Wyatt Earp once said that fast is fine, but accuracy is everything. And don't you forget it when you're staring down the blasted end of a Winchester, or holding off a dozen outlaws with just a wagon keeping your ass alive. This thing of being a hero, about the main thing to it is to know when to die. Dodging lead left and right, your luck's bound to run out sooner or later. You don't live as long as Silas grieves without learning a thing or two, though. You gotta take every advantage you get. Anyhow, where was I? By my reckoning, I should talk about Pat Garrett, that backstabbing bastard with the Tacton Tin Star. Folk heard that he went toe to toe with Greaves, honor duel rules. And that you killed him in a fair fight. That old dime novel lied like a rug, though. He didn't have manners enough to carry guts to a bear, but if he did, Garrett would have lasted as long as a pint of whiskey and a five-handed poker game. There's only one road away from trouble, and this is along the straight and narrow road. Silas's story wasn't about to start following that trail, and Garrett wasn't the only low-down, dirty dog to cross Greaves. Johnny Ringo mean enough to steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Henry Plummer, if all his brains were dynamite, there wouldn't be enough to blow his nose. Jesse James, so crooked it could swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, both crazy enough to eat the devil with horns on. As for Silas, most of those he did kill deserved what they got. And when a cowboy is too old to set a bad example, he hands out good advice. Just so happens that advice makes of some good storytelling. Whole truth or no, it don't matter past a few fingers of gulping whiskey anyway. In the end, folk just hear what they want to hear. That being the case, might as well just be telling taller tales. Like how a man could stand up to a whole gang at high noon and walk away without so much as a scratch on him. Maybe how one crazy son bitch could snuff out an entire cave of Apache and think nothing of it, or stop a train robbery without barely breaking a sweat. Man like Silas Greaves, he ain't afraid to die like a man fighting. Made ordinary fights look like prayer meetings. Not me though. I'm gonna sit pretty right here. I've been Magical Mike, and I'm quits in with this'n. Cheers. <laughs>